So in James Bond movies, even if you haven't seen it, you can imagine there's a character named Q, which stands for quartermaster. And Q always gives these cool gadgets at the beginning of the movie to James Bond. And then inevitably, there's a scene in the movie or several scenes in the movie where Bond uses each and every one of those gadgets that Q equips him with. Well, you don't want to be James Bond who doesn't use one of those gadgets that Q gives him. And that's exactly, uh, that relates to you know research where we have the index, table of contents, and search bar. These are gadgets, these are techniques you can use to quickly and efficiently understand a topic and dive into secondary sources. So I'm gonna show you how to use these in American Jurisprudence, which is one of the national encyclopedias. And to find them, say we're in Westlaw here, we would go to secondary sources because it's an encyclopedia, that's a secondary source. We'd go over here to jurisprudence and encyclopedias, and then we can immediately um, click on American jurisprudence and start searching in American jurisprudence. Now, if we scroll down, there's a whole bunch of other ones. Now, this is what I wanted to show you. On this screen here, once you're in a source, you can now use the index, table of contents, and search bar. The index is usually over here on the right. The table of contents is on your left or in the center of the screen. And then obviously the search bar is up here. So if we wanted to research whether, um, you know, leaving paper flyers could be uh, a nuisance, we could go to advertising and then advertising as a nuisance and read about, you know, nuisances. Uh, we could also go over here to the index and remember the, the benefit of like using the index is you could get extra vocabulary by researching in the index because you may be calling it one thing like nuisance, but maybe it calls it something different. Um, and the table of contents gives you context. Okay, so now I'll click on the index here. And then I'll scroll down to advertising. And I'll kind of look around and see if there's any vocabulary that might, you know, help me. So advertising, and as we scroll down here, we can see here's everything that relates to advertising. So I'm looking for, you know, nuisance or something else that they may call it. Um, and here is nuisance. And, you know, obviously I can go and, and read that. Now, so that does it for the index and the table of contents. Obviously, you know the search bar. You're very comfortable with that. So let me just flip over to Lexis really quickly and show you the same thing. Um, but actually, as a, a thought experiment to, to help you remember this, what should I click on? If I want to go to one of the national encyclopedias, American Jurisprudence, what should I click on? And hopefully you're thinking secondary materials, and that's exactly right. So I could click on secondary materials and then go to American Jurisprudence. There's American Jurisprudence right there. Uh, both Lexis and Westlaw have a license uh, to this product. Now, Lexis is not a big fan of indexes. And so um, in, in uh, excuse me, in Lexis, you have the search bar, which is right here at the top, and then you have the table of contents, and it works the same way as it does in Westlaw, okay? So use the index, table of contents, and search bar.